I really like this book. I really, really liked it. Here's the morning routine of a girl who was told to chill the f up. In the morning, I try to wake up every single day at the same time. And I've been waking up around 7 to 7.30 every single day. My body just wakes me up like this. But this day, I decided to put an alarm just in case because I had a yoga class in the morning time. So I really wanted to get there early. These are the two books that I was reading from the library. And I finished one of those the night before. So I arranged them because I really wanted to go to the library and get them back. You know, I got ready or every single day... I I get ready and I straighten my hair because apparently I do not like how my curly hair looks. Made my bed, got my bedroom ready and I do this every day again just because it makes me feel more productive, more put together. It makes me start the day in a better way if you know what I mean. So always making my bed and that's something that I do recommend for anybody to do in the morning because it just makes you feel good, okay? Oh gosh, <laughs> I look a little rough. Good morning guys. Um, my glasses are kind of dirty, but I'm gonna clean that up in a little bit. Just woke up, so I'm gonna make a little not to do list because I'm trying to stay away from like I have to do, but rather like things that I want to do today. I also like to plan my days, but instead of putting like a to do list, I like to reframe it to what do I want to do, what do I get to do in the day, and that's how I prioritize the stuff that makes me happy and the stuff that I really want to get accomplished. After that, I brush my teeth, I finish up with everything, self care stuff thingings so i put on my contacts my outfit ready everything ready just my makeup just feeling great in the morning i like putting some music as well while i do my makeup so that i can get in the mood of it's a morning time and it's gonna be an actual good day One of the things that I have been prioritizing with my dietitian is to get food in before anything else and before getting out of the house. That means making a good breakfast, making a good snack before any type of movement, just to lower my cortisol levels and let my body have the fuel to get through the day. After that is movement. This specific day, I decided to go to a hot yoga class and it was my first time trying a hot yoga class. It wasn't my favorite thing ever because I felt extremely hot. Like, of course, you're gonna feel, feel hot, but it was like to an extreme and I just didn't enjoy that. But overall, the movement felt great and I think I might want to keep doing yoga, but at home. I think that would be like the best thing ever. This was literally the most dangerous thing to do, but I literally just changed in my car because I wanted to be more like going out outfit type of thing. I'm wearing some shorts. That's it. I'm gonna go to the library now and then work on my computer. Lastly, I decided to do something for myself and I went to the library to pick up some books, but it didn't go as planned and you will see why. I actually ended up blacking out at the store and I didn't get anything at the bookstore. I don't know. I was thinking about it and then I remember how I was feeling about Magnolia Parks and I was like, do I really want to like spend my money in like Magnolia Parks if I didn't really enjoy that much? The second book, like do I really want to give it a second chance? And I might in the future, like I think... I'm gonna place an order on Amazon because they have like a used book in there. So it's like cheaper, it's like $8. And I think I can do that. Like, I think I'll feel better if I do that. But I do have an unboxing of new books that I got. Not from there, but from Amazon as well. But it was a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. So I'm gonna pick up a book. I do have like physical books that I have not read yet. So why don't we start from there? And like, after that, after we finish our physical book, then get new books. I want to try to do that. So here are the books that I got a couple of weeks ago. Again, One for My Enemy by Olivia, Olivia, Olivia Blake. 
this one right here chicken made by Ailey Hazelwood I just read bright and I really really enjoy it so I really hope I enjoy this one as well and then the last one is the story life or of AG Ferky I believe that I can turn this entire video into reading this book and also watching the movie because I know that there's a movie based on this book and also this book was recommended by Haley Pham which is one of my favorite youtubers so I think we're gonna do that plus it isn't like super long it's like 200 and something pages it's super short actually like I'm kind of curious how the story develops and stuff with this like amount of pages you know mm. so I think I'm gonna give that a try and we'll keep you guys updated I'm gonna go eat something because I'm starving after all of that and yeah Hello you guys, I just came back from a little date. We went for coffee, I got this passion tea. It was actually good, um, but I'm not really sure if I'm into the guy. So that's rough, but I wanted to update you on the book. I honestly didn't read that much yesterday. I really wanna read today as much as I can. I am on page 16 and so far I have no idea what's happening. So let's just start reading right now. I was watching one day with my mom last night so that's the reason why I didn't read and honestly, I do. I very much recommend that movie or like TV show. It has been very nice. I like it a lot. It's been like a good watch, you know? Uh, <sighs> Today plan is to read and edit and just chill a little bit. Mm. But yeah, let's keep going with the book because I still have no idea what is what is it about. gonna tell me that actually the book that i'm reading is by the same author of my one and only five star read from this year so far i don't know why i didn't know if it, it's a here like it literally says here that she's the author of that book but i just i didn't like one and one didn't equal two for a long time until today i've been loving the writing style just the same as tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow. The writing style keeps me engaged in the story. I just love that so much. I also found a very beautiful, very, very beautiful short story. Or it's kind of, yeah, it's a short story. It's like a poem, but it's kind of cute. It's called 11 by Sandra Cis Cisneros. And I'm gonna read to you the first couple of things because I really enjoy it. And if I read to you the first couple of things and you really like it, you can look it up and read it all. But here, here it is. What they don't understand about birthdays and what they never tell you is that when you're 11, you're also 10 and nine and eight and seven and six and five and four and three and two and one. And when you wake up on your 11th birthday, you expect to feel 11, but you don't. You open your eyes and everything's just like yesterday, only it's today. And you don't feel 11 at all. You feel like you're still 10 and you are underneath the year that makes you 11. Like some days you might say something stupid and that's the part of you that's still 10. Or maybe some days you might need to sit on your mama's lap because you are scared. And that's the part of you that's five. And maybe one day, when you're all grown up, maybe you will need to cry like if you're three. And that's okay. That's what I tell mama when, she sat and, when she's sad and needs to cry. Maybe she's feeling three. Because the way you grow old is kind of like an onion or like the rings inside a tree trunk or like my little wooden dolls that feed one inside the other. Each year inside the next one. That's how being 11 years old is. I think it's very beautiful. I just came here to say that. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is an okay bar for running into you. It's an awful house. And I wanted to get you out. I'm working on a plan. The book is good. I have not been able to read as much. 
as I want. And right now to come through I've waited for a lifetime for you to calm down Oh, nothing feels the same without you now I've waited for a lifetime for you to calm down Cause nothing feels the same Second, I get caught by you. I wanted you to know that I'm afraid. But we can make it go away. Today, this morning, I woke up. I finished this book. I absolutely loved it. There's so many quotes that I got from the book. And again, I think this is called Little at, Little at, oh my gosh, that word is so hard for me to say. Literally fiction. I think that's how you say it. It's so hard as a Hispanic to say that word. Anyways, this author, absolutely amazing. I want to look up more books by her. Definitely a four out of five stars. I am really 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 trying to be more mindful of my ratings this story goes i don't know if you have ever seen the movie or the book otto i think it's called a guy named otto a man named otto a man named otto this movie is absolutely amazing as well wait it's not focusing Okay, it's not focusing, I'm gonna leave it in here. But this movie was absolutely insane, amazing. I really, really enjoyed that movie. It made me think a lot about my life and it's the same for this book, it's kind of similar. So A.G. Fear, Fear, A.G. Fikri, A.G. Fikri is not an old man but he's like 39 years old his wife just died in an accident in a car accident and he's kind of he's the owner of a bookstore and he's kind of like grumpy and he really like he's not feeling like himself you know he really doesn't want to be part of this board anymore if you know what i mean until he starts having a lot of things happening to him one of them being that someone leaves a baby in the bookstore with a note saying that she the mom wanted for him to raise her daughter because she wants her daughter to be in a good place like a bookstore and like be a nerd and like be a reader and stuff like that and something else that happens to him is that someone steals one of his books and he really doesn't like the book it's just that the book is very very expensive and he was planning on like selling it because it's like a limited edition of like an author like Edgar Edgar Allan Poe wrote this book and it's only available for 15 copies, something like that. A lot more things happen to him and he starts changing and it's just his life. And I don't know, it's kind of beautiful in my opinion. I don't know, I don't know, it's kind of beautiful. So definitely give it a try if you like those type of stories. It's not really romance. Um, and the only book that I have read this year that has been a five star is Tomorrow, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and is from the same author. I'm gonna highlight some of the things <laughs> that I put the sticker on because I didn't have a highlighter this morning. And then we're gonna go and make some coffee. Mm. It's gonna be a good day. I'm really trying to be positive, but to be completely honest, I'm not having a, an amazing day. My legs have been in a lot of pain and not only pain, but I just feel like they're heavy. I feel weird. They feel like they do not belong to me. And it's a weird feeling to have, but Okay. I really like this book. I really, really liked it. 
Okay. One of my favorite things ever, but least favorite things ever as well is to pick a new book because I really do not know what I'm feeling like reading. I think I want to read Magnolia Parks. <laughs> I know I said it in the past, but like I really do. I think we can go and grab a no Magnolia Parks and start reading it today. Yeah, I think we're gonna make some coffee and finish this vlog today. Thank you so, so much for watching you guys. I love you so, so much. I got to recommend you two books, I think so, or just one. I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this, but that's okay. I love you so, so much and thank you for being here.